Hey, what's up everybody? It's Alex. I know it's been a while, but we're back making Java tutorials. Let me know if you want a video on like where I've been. But today I'm gonna to show you how to import a class in Java from a different package. And then I'm gonna show you how to import a class in Java from another project. So we'll first start off by going to file new Java project, and then we'll name it like my project, hit finish. And then in the source folder, go to new class, and we'll call that something like my class. Hit the public static void main checkbox and hit finish. Say we have an entirely different package here. So say source new package and we'll call it like other package. Oh, I can't spell today. Package finish. And then we'll say, let's have a method in here that we really want to use. So we'll go to new class in that other package and say like, Maybe this is the say hi class. And it has a method in here that we really want to use called say hi. So let's make a method that is public. It does not return anything and it's called say hi. No parameters and all that it does is print out Hi. So what you want to know is how can you use this say hi method in my class? Well, ideally it'd be great if you could just call it like any other method like this, say hi, but we see that doesn't work. It's because even in the same project, since it's in a different package, it doesn't have access to see what that method does and then execute it. But to do this is actually really easy. First notice that the default package doesn't have anything at the top. It just starts with public class. But when we made the say hi package, it has this package definition at the top. It says, hey, this package is called other package. It's not the default one. If you want to use it, you can import it by calling the name of the package. So let's do that here. At the very top, type import, and then the name of the package is called other package. So we'll make sure it's the right syntax and everything, right capital letters other package. Right now there's a red underline because it actually wants to know what classes inside that package do you want to use. And it goes in a hierarch hierarchical, hierarchical, hierarch. The structure is in a hierarchy and you separate it by periods. So the package name is other package and then a period denotes all the classes. So you could do a star to do, to import all the classes or you could just import um, the say hi class that we made like that. And you'll notice we still get these red underlines. It's because we need to call it through the class itself. So we have to make a class object, say hi, s equals new, say hi. This is how you make an object in Java. And then you can do s dot say hi to call that method. So when we save this and we click the green button, we see hi gets printed out because when we click the green run button, it runs code in the main method which is in these curly braces. It makes an object called say hi, called s, and it can do that because it knows that there's a say hi class from this import statement from the other package. So that works correctly. And then we can do anything inside of that say hi class. So it knows the say hi method. So we can call it like this. Another way to do this is if, um, if this was a static method, save it. Then we could just call it like this, say hi dot say hi, because it's static. This also works with any other methods that have like, say you want to pass parameters or return values. Say for example, we wanted to add two numbers. We could have it be public. We could return an integer and then we can call it add numbers, pass in an integer called a and an integer called b. And then we could return a plus b. And since we've imported it here, it keeps up to date with all the code that's inside of it. So we just added a method called add two numbers or add numbers. So we could start over, make our say hi object, new say hi, and then do s dot to bring up everything that say hi can do. And we see here that now it says say hi, and we also have add numbers here. So we can use it just like any other method 
we'll say add the numbers three and four, save and run it. And we see that actually nothing gets printed out because this is returning an integer rather than printing it out to the console. So what we can say is int results equals what's returned from that method and then print out results. So now let's go over a more tricky scenario where you want to import a class or a method from an entirely different project. So let's delete everything so far and start over. Um, I'll just delete this other package here. Good. So now let's have another Java project called file new Java project. Other project is what we will call it. And then inside that source folder, we'll make a class and we'll do the same. We'll do the same thing. Say hi, um, no main method. And then it'll have that wonderful um, say hi method where all it does is just print out hi hello okay so this one's a little different you can't do the import statement and then import project dot package dot method what you actually have to do first is add the entire other project to the dependencies of the project you want to use it in it's a little more involved, but it's really easy. So what you want to do is go to the project that you want to use the other code in. So my class, this is an Eclipse, but it's very similar for IntelliJ or whatever else you're using. You want to right click and go to properties and then click Java build path. And then under projects here, under this class path, you might have module path and class path, or it might just be blank. If you have these two, click on class path and then add. This will show you a list of all the other projects in your project explorer. This is the one that has the method we want to use. So we'll click it and hit OK. Now I'll do apply and close. Now it's as if everything inside of other project we can now use in my class. So now I believe that since it's in the default package, since say hi is in the default package, we can actually start using it right now. So do say hi s equals new say hi no errors and then you can do s dot say hi and if we run it it'll work however i believe if this is in a different package so if we do new package some other specific package and then we have a new class in here called maybe say hello and have a same method called say hello Hello. If we wanted to make a say hello object, this one wouldn't work because it's not the default package. It's from some other specific package is what we named it. So in this case, you would do import some other specific package dot all or you could do just dot say hello. And you get the idea. Now if we do s dot say this method name is actually say hi still because we copied it over. Say hello s dot say hello. Save it and run it and we get it. I'm just going to go through this one more time, step by step, so you know exactly what's happening with this. Okay. We have two projects, my project and other project. In my project, my class has the main method. So when we click run, we run code inside the main method. The first line is say hello s equals new say hello. We're trying to make a say hello object, but this project doesn't have any say hello code. What we did though, is we went to my project properties, projects and in the class path we gave it access to this completely different project so now it has access to everything inside of it and we applied and closed but since say hello is in a different package than the default package we had to import 
from that specific package. So since this import statement is at the top and we changed the build path to include the other project, this code works. And then we can do s dot to bring up what that object can do and it can say hello. So it works. So I hope this helped you. I know it can be a little confusing. I didn't know how to do this for a very long time. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.